Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com and I've been using the iPhone 6S Plus for one week now in the two week challenge, halfway there. So let's go ahead and do a check in and talk about some things. All right, first of all, shout out to Slick Wraps for sponsoring the two week challenge. I've actually been getting a decent amount of compliments on my wood Slick Wrap. All right, first point of discussion is the home button, which also acts as a fingerprint scanner to unlock your device, make app store purchases, also use Apple Pay. Some people are actually arguing that it works too well in a sense that it's too quick when unlocking your device, and it really is. It's so fast and accurate. It senses your finger really well. Obviously, it's gonna know if it's not a registered fingerprint or someone else's, and it's just insane how quick it actually works. Now, to give you an idea of why some people think it's too fast, when you go to just turn the screen on, You'll see, I, I, w I just wanted to check notifications and it completely unlocked the device and it was just quick. I just tapped on it and it turned it on and I actually got used to kind of pressing it with my fingernail or the side of my thumb when trying to uh, actually just turn on the screen to check my notifications. Now some people argue you can just press the power button if it go works too well or you can just use a different finger to actually check those notifications. But regardless of if it's too fast or not, it's amazing how well the technology works and how quick it actually is. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, what's the weather like today? Okay, so you see with Siri, you can actually activate it with the display off, which is a nice feature. However, it doesn't recognize the command all of the time. Sometimes I have to say it twice, which actually gets a little annoying. I've been getting a lot of requests to talk about battery life and camera, and I think I'm gonna do a separate video for both of those. And all I can say right now is that both of them are very good. Next point of discussion is the notification system, and it's very cluttered and very inefficient. I'm not a big fan of it. You'll see I have three emails right here, and it takes up a really big bulk of the space. They should definitely learn to condense these within apps. I don't know why they all have to be completely separate instead of just having a little ticker next to them or like Android does, how they combine them all. You do have the option to categorize them by app though, which was nice before. It's just completely cluttered and just all over the place. Something else I'll notice, you'll see I have some Instagram notifications. If I actually go into Instagram and go to my notifications, and actually view them. So here's my notifications viewed. And I go back to that notifications, those are still there. They don't disappear in, within certain apps when you actually uh, view them. Now one thing I really miss is actually notification icons up at the top letting you know when a certain app has a notification. I do know that you do have little tickers there which lets you know when you have an unread message, etc. But when you're in an app or something, you don't see these little icons. And I really, really miss having uh, notification icons up at the top of the status bar. Let's talk about control center, swiping up from the bottom. And I personally do like this option. You do have certain settings you can change, brightness, music control, and then shortcuts to flashlight or camera. Now, one thing that's really bad is that there's no quick way to get into the settings app specifically. You have to go to the settings icon, which is not good because when you go into specific apps, they don't have a menu to go into settings for that specific app. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, when I go into the settings app, you'll see all of the apps settings are all right within here. And there's no way to quickly get to them from within an app or there's no quick settings button shortcut within the control center or even the, the pull down bar at all. One thing I find really amusing is the Hangouts app is substantially better on iOS. It's much more fluid and quick and just overall works better. Again, 3D Touch has actually come in handy and I like it a lot. I have a full review on it. Make sure you check it out after you see this video. Now I also talked about this in the 3D Touch review but I wanted to talk about it again because I really like it so much. With 3D Touch, you can move the cursor anywhere you want. You can select text as well, all with one hand very easily and very accurately. Now I've actually been very pleased with how smooth the device is. It flies through tasks and it rarely stutters if at all. Now finally I want to talk about the ear pods that do come with the device and they're just not good for me. They don't fit in my ear, they slide out. Working out is just not an option at all. If I'm not moving they might stay in there. That's just my specific ear shape. Your experience with these might be different. And that's about it. So that would be my one week check-in video with the iPhone 6S Plus. More videos to come. I'll do at least a one more check-in video before my final video, which will be the full review. But anyways, that's it. Click that subscribe button so you're notified when I come up with new videos. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. All links in the description video below. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.